hello guys welcome in this video i'll show you how to use different kernel exploit to get root access or root privilege in vulnerable machines uh, kernel exploits uh, kind of can leave the system in an unstable state so you should only use those exploit as a last resort so i will not suggest using kernel exploit if there are there aren't any other method to do that so let me provide you an example just giving this command uname a it will give you the uh, linux system version so it's 2.6.32 so it's pretty old and just searching in google so you can see here that it immediately found bunch of exploits first one it found is um, this dirty cow p trace now POK data race condition privilege escalation. So as the system is pretty old, so there are many kernel experts that are developed already. So you can also use a Linux expert suggestor, which I mentioned in my first video. So it's an automated enumeration tool. Okay, I've downloaded Linux uh, exploit suggest in this vulnerable box. Okay, let me run it okay this script immediately found bunch of exploits that you can use so you can see here that there is dirty cow that we just found in google also so this dirty cow is pretty much popular exploit so in some cases it may render the box unusable or it may just damage your kernel or machine also so let me show you how to exploit the box using this dirty cow Okay, the steps to do that is also given in this exploit db page you just need to download it so download it and just after that just download it in your kali system and just pass that exploit from your kali to the vulnerable box so I, which i will not show you how to do that i'm going to skip that process okay you can see here that i've just copied that exploit in this vulnerable box a vulnerable machine and just uh, named it as dotty dot c after that let's compile it using gcc so all the compilation processes are also given in this exploit db page i'm just going to follow that okay after you compiled it okay after that just run this dirty so it asks to just enter the new password okay so what it does is it just change the pssw file and just rewrite the password in it so it created the created new user this firefart and this is our password this is the password that i typed so it's just encoded in md5 format okay let's wait for the exploit to complete okay the exploit successfully completed and so it gives uh, it prompt up this uh, message that you can just log in with username firefart and the password oscar which i just entered okay let's change the user to firefart and the password okay now let's check okay now we are actually root user you can see that our GID value is set to root and our groups uh, is also root although our username is firefart we are now a root user so that's how we can use dirty cow exploit to gain privilege in old linux system so this dirty cow exploit actually works for linux between this version 2.6.22 3.9 so as a demonstration i showed you how to use dirty cow you can also search for other kernel exploit so if linux the exploit suggestor showed you other kernel exploit and you can just check them out but i will suggest you to use the kernel exploit is at your own risk as it will hamper the system if not executed correctly 
okay this was in this video hope to see you in next one bye